so welcome students for our next lecture of uh, diseases of field and horticultural crops that is path 354 so now we are moving towards the diseases of crucifers uh, first disease of the crucifer is alternaria leaf spot also known as alternaria leaf blight as the causal organism is alternaria brassicola basically alternaria is known for the disease causing pathogen which causing the infection towards the leafy vegetables as well as in case of the crucifers basically as you can see in the image that circular spots are arises on the leaves particularly in the case of the crucifers most targeted is cabbage and the cauliflower but almost all the crucifers uh, cruciferous family crops uh, infected by this alternaria alternaria having the basics uh, basically the some of the conidial development in an alternate manner which release in abundance in quantity that's why it is known as alternaria so that is uh, some of the points related with the alternaria which forms a lots of conidia to cause the heavy infection so if you see carefully in the case of the symptoms so this kind of ring spot known as in our uh, pathological scientific language that is concentric ring spot if you see in your manual you can see the particular uh, uh, word of that particular symptom that concentric ring spot arises on the surface of the leaf to scatter all over to the leaf lamina at the base you can see the enlarged image of that particular spots which causes then which uh, converted into the blighted effect this con concentric concentric ring spots when collide with each other to form a big patch which known to be a blighted patches on to be the on the margin as well as the central portion of the leaf uh, the heavy infection by the support of the average temperature and the heavy humidity leads to the heavy blightness and drying of the leaves which causes the ultimate uh, effect on the leaves, uh, the drying of the leaves and shedding of the leaves heavily and uh, destruction on the alternately uh, on the development of the plant, which causes the adverse leaf effect on the yield also. So these are some of the factor which is related with the alternaria leaf spot and blight. Primary source of infection is by infected seeds plant debris and also uh, the pathogen also survives on the weeds which causing known to be the collateral host uh, for the primary source of infection and secondary source of infection by conidia uh, which is disseminated by the wind so this is about the alternative leaf spot of crucifers second disease of the crucifer that is important disease black rot causal organism is xanthomonas campestris pathobus campestris so basically the black rot causing uh, bacterial disease arises first of all impression uh, symptoms on the leaves if you can see uh, it's a typical type of symptom if you see here the the marginal blight uh, resembles as a, some kind of notation here to identify a particular disease that is black rot english alphabet that is v shape spot or a blighted patch arises from margin to the uh, inwards near to the margin and uh, near to the midrib so you can see here also in, at the bottom image this resembles as a v alphabet v shape patch or v shape spot arises from the margin towards the central midrib so this is the first impressive symptom which can be occurs in case of the black rot which arises first of all to uh, show uh, the particular symptoms of the xanthomonas campestris and the as the progresses the disease progresses to form a certain kind of uh, enzymatic activity or maybe toxic elements which release in the development of the ball particularly black rot uh, is occurs majorly in the cabbage group uh, as compared to cauliflower and other cruciferous family cabbage is most uh, uh, susceptible to particular black, black rot that is caused by xanthomonas so you can see here if you see at the bottom so the whole ball cabbage ball is infected with the 
<clears throat> black toxic material released by the xanthomonas if you cut the ball into two half then you can see some of the hollowness and rotted part inside the uh, cabbage ball and blackish appearance due to toxic element released by the xanthomonas inside the ball so this is the some of the symptoms which is related with the black rot because internally the blackening occurs and rotting of the balls may be occurs so that's why this disease is known as a black rot starting with the v shaped patches on the external surface of the leaves starting from the margin towards the uh, central midrib and internal black rot which if you cut into two half you can see the blackish appearance or rotted appearance of the toxic material by the xanthomonas so this is about the symptoms of the black rot primary source of infection by bacterium through infected seeds plant debris and also these bacterium survives on the weed uh, as a collateral host and the back secondary source of infection by bacterium uh, which is disseminated by irrigation water and the rain splash so this is about the diseases of crucifers only two diseases are uh, two diseases of crucifers are important that is alternaria leaf spot and black rot uh, next crop important crop is brinjal and the first disease of the brinjal is pomopsis blight also known as fruit rot so causal organism of the pomopsis blight is pomopsis vexans so in case of pomopsis if you see poma pomopsis dendrophoma these are some of the pathogen which creating and destructive effect at the time of majorly at the time of harvesting but in case of this pomopsis vexans that is pomopsis blight there are three types of different symptoms can be seen from the seedling stage as well as up to the up up till the fruit formation so you can see here the three three types of symptoms can be seen damping of leaf spot as well as the fruit rot so we will start we are going to start with the first symptom damping of as we have seen the damping of disease in the tomato also so same kind of appearance can be seen in in the case of the symptom so after transplanting of the seedling so certain or maybe at the nursery stage a certain kind of shock or maybe a certain kind of wilting uh, condition occurs at the seedling stage just after the 7 days or 15 days of transplanting so that is known to be the systemic infection by the pomopsis to the seedlings of the brinjal so which comes under the damping off condition so uh, damping off means just the death of the plant or wilt of wilting of the plant at the nursery stage or maybe at the after the transplanting in the main field so that is known as a damping off by the pomopsis caused by systemic infection next stage after 15 days or maybe after one month when the uh, seedlings grown in in the, in the foliar stage so this kind of circular spot you can see here at this image the circular spot which are surrounded by the brown margin or maybe also surrounded by third layer that is yellow halo centrally that is uh, the whitish or the creamy whitish spot surrounded by brown margin and the uh, totally surrounded by yellow halo and these spots are arises scattered all over to the leaf lamina that causing the blighted effect on the leaf so this is the, another second uh, symptom of the pomopsis blight or also known as a leaf spot stage which causing the infection on the leaves and the third stage which is very damaging stage which causing the most of all uh, appearance of the pomopsis that is known as fruit rot because this stage having the heavy yield yield uh, loss in in the fruit rot, fruit at the fruit uh, formation condition so basically during the fruit rot you you can see here a circular surrounded uh, uh, rotting patch on the surface of the fruit arises which causes the uh, uh, the thin layer convert due to the rotting the thin layer uh, conversion of the uh, fruit can be seen and circular pattern is a way of identification of the fruit rot which is caused by pomopsis blight in the field so certain kind of this kind of of damping of slip spot and fruit rot these are the three types of different symptoms caused by pomopsis blight and uh, pomopsis sorry pomopsis vexans which 
causes the disease that is homopsis blight and the fruit rot so this uh, uh, disease having the primary source of infection through infected plant debris soil and also the uh, by the seed born and the secondary source of infection by uh, rain splash and uh, you know, implements and also some insects uh, why insects when this fruit uh, undergoes heavy rotting so the insects comes in contact with this rotted fruit so some of the conidia uh, uh, attaches with the uh, it, their body parts so uh, maybe the legs maybe the wings and may be responsible for the secondary infection so this is about the pomopsis blight which is caused by pomopsis vexans last disease and second disease of the brinjal that is sclerocinia blight cause causal organism is sclerocinia sclerosiorum so basically sclerocinia that is the uh, arises basics uh, spores are ascospores which having the uh, development on the surface of the soil uh, basically when there are some of the factors may be some undecomposed organic matter on the soil surface or the undecomposed manure used by the farmer so some sclerocial bodies arises from that particular uh, undecomposed organic matter so these are responsible for the development of the sclerocinia on the surface of that particular stem at the surface over the surface the when the stem comes above the soil surface it is known to be the collar region of that particular plant so that sclerocinia <coughs> or sclerosium develop on the surface to cause a direct entry through the vascular tissues through the stem and enters through the vascular in, inside the vascular tissue to cause the systemic infection and the blighted appearance uh, developed on the surface of the stem externally you can see here the sclerocinial growth the sclerocy as well as the ascospores develop on the surface of that particular stem that causing the heavy damage in the case of the blighted appearance to the basic stem and that appears to be the white tish uh, fluffy or cottony growth on the surface of the stem that causing the heavy damage to the plants if the environmental conditions suitable to the development of the uh, this fungus so it may be causes the uh, sometimes death of the plant and nearby you can see here the nearby uh, leaves and the branches having the heavy blightness effect due to the development of this sclerocinia so this is about the sclerocinia blight that causing the infection to the stem as well as the nearby branches and the leaves so uh, primary source of infection is by ascospores which is arises from the plant debris and secondary source of infection by sclerotia by air basically if this fluffy white cottony uh, mycelial growth or maybe fungal growth which releases the sclerotia in the air and which causes the secondary infection to the nearby plants so this is about the diseases of the crucifers and the diseases of and the diseases of the brinjal only two two diseases of the crucifers and the brinjal uh, are there for your examination and the both uh, the diseases means in the case of the crucifers and in the, in the case of the brinjals are important for your syllabus so in the next lecture we will uh, discuss about the diseases of okra uh, and the diseases of beans so this is uh, today's we are, i'm going to end the today's online lecture of our path 354 okay good day